Got my uh, let me hit the button and get it started. We got folks jumping in at the very beginning. So, uh, unfortunately, Nino Bless, no, uh, you're still not going to get any airplay on Liberty Radio tonight. My, my apologies, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'll put the link in the replay notes so people can check it out if they want to. But it is Friday night in COVID land. It is November 15th, 2024. And uh, it is time for open lines, ladies and gentlemen. It is your chance to be a part of Liberty Radio. Let us know what is on your mind tonight. The link is in the Liberty Radio Telegram channel and the new prisoners chat channel. You can jump in and uh, and talk with uh, all of us fine folks pictured here and whoever else decides to drop in in the course of the evening. I, I don't know. I don't know what other instruction to give you guys. It, it seems kind of straightforward. Robin and, and, T- and Coop were both able to get it done. So, I mean, I don't know. It's not that hard. There you go. There you <laughs> if go. I can do it, anybody can. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that yeah. testimonial. <laughs> Dude, I'm suck with computers. <laughs> I used to too. And then, and then I just, I forced myself to work with them all the time and I've figured out a few tricks. I'm not like, Go I'm back. nowhere near uh Rob's level of proficiency with a computer. I guarantee it. Cause I don't, yeah. I, I didn't do it for a living. Right. I did it as a hobby. I did it for, for fun and frustration most of the time. So I know, I, I know some tricks, but that's about as far as it goes. I learned everything I know from hours of clicking around and trying shit until it works. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, pretty much how, how I, I do it. Shit out too. Yeah. Yeah. Just eventually, keep hammer. Just keep the hammer away from me. <laughs> I <might laughs> want to fucking whack the computer. <laughs> I mean, the best is when you're using something for years, and then you figure out something you never even figured out before. All of a sudden, some new feature. Wow. <laughs> that out. It's like ten years old and shit, and you're like, Fuck <laughs> yeah. yeah it's cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> so gentlemen i got a question to ask you all right um uh do you think they are trying to kill white people just white people nobody else um They're trying to get a, rid of the white man there's been a concerted effort in my lifetime to demonize the white man and uh try to make him responsible like the the, the rich uh i guess plantation families and opium families have uh somehow escaped anybody's ire and uh they've placed it all on the common people who uh are struggling like every other race to make a living in this world because white privilege is a fucking myth if i've ever seen one i mean maybe it, maybe it's uh, available to people who go to ivy league schools and are born with a silver spoon but I don't know. Well, I mean, even even in colonial times, there were there were privileged white people and there were indentured servants who were, quote unquote, white people. The the whole myth part of it is there is no such thing as white people, just like there's no such thing as black people. There's no such thing as brown right. people like no, no people are are a monolith and reducing them to, you know, literally just their skin color is like the like one of the easiest ways to to debase an individual because you're automatically assigning them to a group whether they want to be part of that group or not and carry all right. the baggage that comes with it. So I mean it's yeah. like the whole the whole concept of racism in it, in and of itself is absolutely I fucking retarded. They've been uh bashing the white man, you know, my whole adult life, so. <laughs> right? God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, Andy. It's uh I think it's kind of got to the the overflow point like they, you know, pissed off enough white men where they got Trump elected. But I mean <laughs> pretty sure they could have dropped a bunch of ballots and changed it any way they wanted. And this is exactly well, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly what they wanted to begin with. But I mean, if we were playing make believe and the votes actually counted, I mean that would probably be something you could point to. That's obvious. Like well, he did. Eyes. He did gain in all of the key demographics versus uh, twenty twenty. 
Well, he didn't even a little bit that I saw, like black men, (laughs) black women, Hispanic, like, you know, all the different little things that they always look at. Like he was up in all of them this time around. Again, if the numbers are legitimate. Yeah, well, dude, I, mean, I, I I watched a number of videos on YouTube, and you know it's YouTube. I know anybody or a video anybody could make the shit up, but it was basically black people bitching about Kamala Harris and how they were going to vote for fucking Trump. Oh yeah, yeah. She panned. She's like terrible, and like started making up accents to try to relay <laughs> and send out Barack Obama, the like whitest black guy in America, to try to, you know, appeal to the brothers as he called them. Like, dude, you, you, I mean, you don't even get to fucking call other black people brothers. You, you're so fucking white. Get the fuck out of here. Right. So I think that over the top pandering would be one reason that. Uh, and uh, Christ, Van Jones up there crying. You know, women, you, you took these disenfranchised black women and they thought that maybe they could see one of their own. And then you stole that dream away from them. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Are you How kidding me? For someone who wasn't really, you know, she's not even oh fully. Oh, my God. You know, he's bought and paid for by that. Jeff Bezos, right? Yeah, I mean, you gave him $30 million or something. Yeah. Just gift it to him. Yeah. I wish I had friends like that. Right? No I remember shit. hearing that. I was like, shit, I should just kill myself now because that's never going to fucking happen to me. Well, well, I'm become independently wealthy. Maybe I'll drop you $30 million. <laughs> Not working out so far, but... Uh, I, I mean, yeah, honestly, $10 million is all we need for an operating budget. We'll be good. <laughs> I'm not greedy. We'll go Alex Jones. No. Man. Mainstream yeah. fucking mammies with you. That's That's crazy. Out. Ten million isn't greedy these days. I, I can already admit it? the drizzle supplement line. <laughs> yeah. Boner pills and uh, we'll probably do like a fiber supplement, you know, because I'm getting up there in age. So I need to start thinking about that shit. Might as well make it myself and Just start and take taking RSO. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I found myself recruited to help somebody move some stuff last weekend and was in the gas station getting the U-Haul and they had the uh, the Rhino Extreme boner pills in there. It's fucking cracking. Oh, the 5500s, huh? Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, what in the fuck, man? Yeah. You hear Sam hey. Tripoli talk about that shit all the time. Maybe yeah, that, that's where I got it, the Rhino 5500. It was, <laughs> right. You get it in his special. I just watched that today. That was a pretty good special, dude. Yeah, but yeah. it's on YouTube or? Yeah, he just put it out on YouTube. Yeah, that see, was you're, getting just... the, you're getting the cut version on YouTube. Well, that's, that's fine. Well, send me the, yeah. like, I just want, like, I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty they good. Really though, was... I'm going to watch it. Was it that cut, though? I don't know. What's, yeah, what I, was I, I haven't watched the uncut part, so I couldn't really tell you. Well. So, it's amazing how it, 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 it's got it on Rumble. You have to pay for it. I ain't gonna yeah, no, I'm shit. not. No, neither am I. So I just watched no. what he put in. It, it's Sam. So it's well, amazing. it'll be free on Rumble eventually. YouTube's yeah. just, I thought they gave up on all that hardcore censorship. No, <laughs> yeah, just, sen- no, getting... no, that they, they, they just led us into believing they were going to do that. Well, they so they, uh-huh. they have different switches, right? So, like, for, I don't know, 6, 9, 12, 18 months or whatever, they'll, they'll hit certain switches, and then they'll turn those off and turn other switches on. And it's just, it's like a, a revolving cycle. They just that go through it for it different shit. Like that. It is. Well, I mean, because I, I, I see it from when I well, post, I'm like, sure the you do little bit that have... I actually post. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing that sucks is about, you know, it's trying to give up YouTube altogether is it, you know, other than, you know, stuff that I'm interested in, like politically and all that stuff, they've got, you know, how to videos on just about any fucking thing you can imagine. If you need to build something, you need to fix something like somebody's got a free video, you can go and, you know, suffer through a couple commercials to see, you know, the bare skin fucking hoodie that they seem to think I want so bad because yeah. I get that fucking commercial like 10 times a freaking video. Dude, when I was working for Verizon, YouTube was one of my most powerful resources because literally all I had to do, if people want to know how to operate their phone and I didn't do it this way all the time, but it was the easiest way to like get away from 
giving a, a 90 minute tutorial to every single customer. So like, hey, you got this thing on your phone, it's called YouTube. If you go there and you go into the search bar, type how to, whatever it is you wanna do, bam, there's oh, 20 yeah. videos showing you that exact thing. I've learned a lot of shit on YouTube, how to play music and shit on YouTube. Like yeah. really learned it for real. No shit. That is a resource, but it's Dude, my laptop crapped out on me. It just froze up one night and I didn't know how to fucking to restart it or anything. You know what I mean? So I went to YouTube on my phone and fucking the, the dude's like, yeah, just hold this button down for 30 seconds. And sure enough, it fucking worked, dude. <laughs> yeah you can like, kind of find to learn how to use anything on youtube but then it's yeah. going to be weaponized against us too i think that's kind of what i mean all the platforms the are double-edged sword right <laughs> well i mean dude i'm not gonna lie i've watched there were great videos of bill cooper uh eustace mullins and phil schneider on youtube at one time and now dude you can't find none of that shit it's all gone or they've chopped up like there's a, a video of Phil Schneider. Uh, you guys are familiar with him, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. 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 think that dude Not really? Exactly. I know who that is. Yes. He's yeah. got like a he's got a really crazy story, and he's also got like physical like marks on his body that like point yeah, towards it, like being somewhat true, but like it's just so fantastical that he dropped down into this ditch where they've been working this whole fucking time, and they didn't disturb these you know, creatures up until they fell through and then he started shooting at him for some reason. I'm like, why would you start shooting? Yeah, at but <laughs> the paper there is legitimate government paperwork on that. Yeah. Day. And the so, you know. ground is like so hard to to meet because there's there anyway, is there's oh, something sorry. real about it. And then there's the other yeah, it's what yeah, go ahead, Tom. Sorry. So anyway, he he did a vid he, he did a video. It's uh only or was it uh I, dead man's tail or something like that was the caption for it you can find it but there's parts of it chopped out and the part that's chopped out is where he tells you that there's going to be a pandemic and this is in like 95 and uh fake alien invasion yeah what did we just have pandemic yeah that they scamdemic yeah that. well you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've uh, didn't go that deep into it, but yeah, he said that they were going to drop some kind of virus or or do something like that. So I see they've mm -hmm. been uh, filling up my uh, suggested feed with stuff in relation to that. <laughs> oh, really? Not the not the fake pandemic, mm -hmm. but uh, you know more with there's more whistleblowers. Like Lou Lou Alizondo crawled back out oh, from under his rock. That's and right, like, good old CIA Lou. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, um, OBDM has been uh, covering the misadventures of uh, Lou Elizondo. It's it's quite humorous to listen to it vicariously. Because I'm sure there's there's people out there that he's he's got them hook, line, and sinker, and he's just leading them down the primrose path, just like he's being paid to do. So do See, you guys that's what, bringing up that, that that's kind of what you know, like how much of all these stories is that, or is it real? I think there's a little bit of middle ground in all of it, but that's, I think we weird. have the technology. I you know, there may be aliens, there may not be aliens, but I know that's what, what I mean. I think, that, I think <laughs> uh, we developed the technology a long time ago and it's been compartmentalized to the point that not too many people know about it. And they're just playing games with people at this point. So oh, they're playing games, but yeah. as long as they're pumping oil and gas out of the ground, you're not going to see any fucking free energy. You're going to see these bullshit oh, windmills, no. windmills and fucking solar panels that are killing. And they're going to feed us stories of aliens or future fucking. Well, shit, they're they're telling you exactly what they expect us Hidden to do technology. yeah, yeah. What, what was the world economic forum had a uh, quote that was going around the interwebs earlier this week saying that by 2050 68 percent of the world's population will or maybe it was the american population uh will live in cities 68 yeah. percent that's two-thirds and then What's the rest the what happens to them they 
go away probably because they don't want them in the country. You know that. Yeah. So what happens to the rest of the, was that 40? So that's, that's the question because that <laughs> seems to be the dialectic that's playing out. You've got yeah, the we're people part of that who, 42%. I think that's all right. of us are. That's right. Well, if you look at the voting maps, I mean, on the states that are the so-called swing states that they always show, you'll see that like the population centers are around the big cities. And then, you know, the rest of the state barely gets a fucking vote compared to what happens in the city because there's just so many more people there already. So like, what's the percentage now? That's a good well, question. 68, 42. That's why there are no blue states, <laughs> only blue cities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. And black and blue people, really. When you, when you look at that map that they put up of like how the voting went across the country for president, and you see that there's these like little pockets of blue, and somehow that equaled out to 200 and fucking 30 electorate. I don't really know. I checked out on that so much because uh, like, I, I already knew what was, and it didn't, it, I wasn't surprised on what happened. I had to fucking check right the fuck out on that. How do California, Washington, and Oregon are automatically blue every fucking president election? Automatically. I mean, I, I called a Trump presidency on the last uh, open lines. Before. Yeah, it wasn't hard. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> I was, I was asking you what you thought. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, all you really have to do is follow the money. Yeah. Look who's, look yeah, who's you back. Know that, you know, yeah. Yeah. So. That yeah, was Miriam. Be I'll, I'll tell you guys it. all right now. Miriam Adelson was not spending that money to lose. All right, no. that's same, not same how that last... family does business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said to myself the first time he won. I'm like, do you really think that Adelson was going to give Trump all that money and he was going to fucking lose? Right, nah, dude. I don't think so. The gambling man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, look, dude. It's just simple follow the money you know who was donating money to fucking kamala harris compared to fucking to fucking donald trump i don't know but whoever it was well, it really wasn't was, enough all their money was kind of coming from dark sources though oh, of really. course well I mean, kamala's came from the ukraine because like that. that's where the fucking the democrats fucking yeah. got all their fucking campaign money they laundered it all so they could fucking give it to their fucking donors and shit I mean, she commandeered the uh, Biden for president campaign fund with no official um, <laughs> work. It just became her money. It was all hers. Yes. It is all a dark Oh, she's fine. She'll be ritual. fine. I just hope it doesn't go too bad. And I don't know. That's all we can do is really hope that it doesn't go completely fucking so. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's going to be a definitely a dark energy ritual, but damn. I mean, we got to I mean, put our energy into it and try to help whatever the fuck they're doing putting matt gates in as the freaking attorney general is going to be entertaining if nothing else i hope so that that well, that is my sincere wish too because since we he's won't, a cokehead yeah we won't have joe in, <laughs> and, uh, yeah i heard anymore. that he's got an ants and an and, and, and as a sec, well, like sexual allegations and coke Yep. Good for the attorney general. We got well, he's got that weird head okay. too. Dude, yeah, you know? Where Jesus. when the camera catches him just right, he's like he looks like a giant baby. Well, apparently that whole story about a seventeen year old <laughs> was invented by the father of the seventeen year old to try to extort twenty five million dollars out of him. So yeah, now we got that for his Dude, that general. so that congressperson that uh was, there was a congressperson that was in a wheelchair. He was a Republican. And he came out and started ratting Matt Gates and all them fools out for fucking coke parties and underage women. Yeah, that was Hawthorne, Hawthorne wasn't it? Yeah, Hawthorne was. Oh, the guy. so that's why he's name, getting. But... That's probably why he's getting accused of it because he's outing them out for it. I I don't know. I don't catch accused, up. Accused. They're all that fucking makes Yeah, they're that's all. That's of course they are. I, I, I know shit. that. I already know. I'm yeah, no, I know. Aware. I know everybody here does. But I'm talking about just the normal yeah, individual. We gotta try to tell everybody else, and then we seem like I know that's. Oh fuck! I, I, don't fuck I don't give a fuck. I saw a uh, CBS clip. I'm already fucking crying over the selections that he's made so far, and they got to RFK, and they were like, "Well, during the last administration, they allowed him to exchange data with the health agencies, and they said that his." Uh, 
his opinions were more important than our data. So we stopped communicating with him. Uh, and it's, you know, it's questionable. I don't think we'll they see get wow. any of those levels without being a pedophile, man. You have to like kind of, even in a small town kind of government way, seems to be that's the way good old boy shit gets pretty weird. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it good. even happens and, here in little old Jasper. Yeah, I live in Utah. It gets Mormon, and that gets real weird real oh, quick. Oh, I bet that, yeah, I bet that gets real strange. Okay, y'all. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, yeah, that whole uh, thing that Derek Bros is trying to out, that's like right in my community. And you know what I'm talking about. The whole thing, he, there's, yeah, it's it gets Yeah, that shit weird. leads back to San Diego, where I'm from. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's very, and, it's very uh, satanic and inverted, and that's kind of the whole thing. Everything's they flip it upside down. That's what they do. Whatever you want to call them, pedophile. Yeah, yes. So I'm, um, yeah. It's, it's very it's much that. part of doing black magic. It's it's yeah. Aleister Crowley shit. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it all is. it always goes back to the same that. sources. And if you just look at it that way, you will get what the reality is every time. If you take that inversion. And just put it on your reality, then you will understand, and you'll be frustrated. It's fucking hard to try to deal with that. That's why we're all here talking. My Michael Aquino rose through the ranks of military. No, there's another one. Don't bring his. Don't even say that name on no, the internet. No, we say and his that, name. We say his okay. name. We get it. I on know. The record well, so people can hear okay. it, and they can go and search for it, and they can learn about it. Now, okay. There's, well, there's none I'm of this. We don't say bit. that name shit. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I it's was just right. kind of joking. I was I just, just got, joking. I just a gotta bit. lay it down, man. This is a time no, no, capsule. I, I, no, I, everything I even goes into it. it. Oh fuck! <laughs> sorry, you even got what I was saying when I, I didn't even get the joke out. I was kind of <laughs> just joking. I was about to say a joke. Holy shit! You just you knew exactly what I was saying. Yeah, Michael Aquino, yeah. probably one of the worst motherfuckers there is. And yes, you should say his name, but. I was just kind of, I was starting a joke. I didn't even get the fucking punchline out. That's my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. No, no, that's not your bad. You got it. I, you got exactly what you cut me off at the fucking head. Well, on even fucking making that joke. Sorry, but we will joke about Michael Aquino because he's a fucking pile of shit. One of I the mean, worst. Anybody, fucking, is. anybody goes out. And and like, I know what I was about to start to make a joke and holy shit. Drizzle just like, oh, nope, nope, nope. And respect, man. Sorry. But, yeah, I was about it's to make good, a fucking man. joke. But, yeah, Michael Aquino, carry on. Bring that motherfucker into the fucking dr- trash his ass. We'll drag him through the mud. Do I'm just that. glad he's dead. Yeah, me too. And he killed himself. You know why? Because he's a pile of shit. Yeah. I was only fucking like I was about to make a fucking joke and a punchline and oh wow, yeah, you yeah, you knew what I was that's some dark energy though, but we oh. should make his dark energy worthless at this point. Man. You're talking about orange Jesus. Yeah, no, we're talking about Michael Aquino still, but I would six of one, half dozen of the other. Or they're they're kind of same. It's all related. It does. But it's it's all it, in a, yeah, because it all goes back to Luciferianism, right? Yeah, like the the Church of Satan is just another offshoot of the same religion, and they that produce the ones. Freemasons. It's, it's a yeah. It's it's a more reality based version of actual spirituality. They try to make it really reality based. I don't know if that makes sense, but. We're supposed to be spiritual, not reality based, and how they do it, and then they get really to where they manipulate people as cattle and call them that, and then you, you get into this point where people th- think that they have the authority to dominate other people. Mm-hmm. I mean, Arnold, that, that's yeah, not yeah, natural. That's ecological <laughs> experiments. Yeah. Well, I mean, shit, there's there's a lot of cults in the world right now. Yeah. I can I can I look on the internet every single All day religions. and find them in like five minutes. They're fucking everywhere, dude. Yeah. 
Can you give me some? And it's it's that the that concept of a, a person thinks that they can dominate another person and control and then manipulate what they're going to do. And that's not natural. That's not what, you know. I've been given. Our, I've been getting a, little, giving a lot of thought to giving up all free choice and finding some strong leader to tell me how to live. So Ooh, you got they, just, they just selected one, Rob. You're in luck. <laughs> that is a natural thing that like this, maybe the human race as a species tends to do because most people can't, but it's also a, a product of how they've programmed us through yeah. thousands of years, not just 50 or a hundred it's continuing, so it's like it, well, they, it, the it, the processes have gotten more refined in oh, the course of, of I would say the last hundred and fifty years. Yes. Basically, at the beginning of the industrial revolution is when things mm -hmm. really started kicking into high gear, yeah, especially once technology. they figured out mass production. Mm -hmm. Mass production okay. allowed them to it allowed them access to power that. Previous and generations of media. oligarchs and emperors and kings and, and all of that shit, none of them knew that kind of power. No. As far they as didn't have they didn't have television. Soon as like television and the whole Edward Bernays thing, that's when it really got ramped up, you know. And Don't Rob, forget radio. I know radio. Well, your radio was first. Radio that's first was first. that was the first a fake alien invasion, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I know. Yes, yes, you're right. But then, you know, the next one's going to be imagine how their minds were blown when they could first see it on a in a picture on a on a screen in their in their living room, and all the kids gathered around to hear that propaganda, and it continues on. That's why they needed social media because they lost the whole television generation. There's still some like baby. Well, it's just it's just actually a continuation. It, I, I, yeah, I, it, exactly. Because the uh, social media, and especially, it's not even so much the social media, it's the interaction with the smartphone. It's the dependence on the smartphone. Because we do now have human beings on this planet who are dependent on these machines for things that they need to accomplish in their daily life. They have oh, yeah. forgotten the ability to do that to do whatever that task is without them at this point. This has been demonstrated. It's been documented. Oh, I have a, per I have a personal experience of this because I used to just fill out paperwork for what I have to do with my job. And my job is like a federal, my, it's MSHA stuff. I work at a gravel pit. So like it's, it's a literal federal document, what I used to do just with paperwork. And now I do it all in an app and I have to take pictures and shit like that. Mm. And it feels it is like I could resist it, but it is like oh my God. it's yeah. what I do yeah. now. So now, now I have to go around taking pictures. I put the pictures in the and now I answer all the questions just like in an app instead of doing paperwork. Yeah, that's a perfect example of that, what you're saying. Exactly, that is a perfect example. Also, a perfect example is people who cannot find their way around the town that they have lived in their entire life without <laughs> GPS. Holy shit. Yeah, yes, no. That is a phenomenon. That happens. I know, now. I know, I know, I, I know some younger kids in the twenties. No, we're not talking younger big. kids. We're talking thirties and forties. Oh well, I do well. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to hear something funny? <laughs> not, so here in Oregon, they it's and it's been like this for a long, real long time where you don't have to pump your own gas. Yeah. Really? So uh, I think two years ago they they changed it so now it's half and half they have half like someone comes and puts in the gas and the other half is you put in your own gas so i'm at the gas station one day and this uh i'm putting put my gas in, and this mexican girl comes up to me and she was like hey uh can you help me and i'm like with what and she was like i don't know how to put the gas in my car <laughs> yeah because they don't in mexico they don't uh let you do it yourself either well, I, I and I don't even think she was born. I think she was from here, though. You know what I mean? Oh, really? From yeah, yeah from well, Oregon. I mean, still. And uh, if they, if still, you've never done it before, really well. yeah. If you, I just thought that was it, just how, how old mind, was she? You know? Like, was that a younger a girl? And if, well, you know, 
it was a yeah, female, was right? So, well, no disrespect, but maybe they shouldn't be having to pump their own gas. And I, maybe I'm a gen, old school gentleman, but I kind I kind of like yeah, that. it's not that hard of a thing to understand. But if she had no idea how to do it, Mm-mm. maybe she had a cool boyfriend or something for a while, or like I don't know, I don't know how to. No, understand. in Oregon, dude, you don't have to you forever. Oh, well, you didn't have to yeah, pump that, your own that's gas. That's never been a thing here. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, that like that self or not the self serve. The... <laughs> I just almost started yeah. laughing. I was yeah, like, yeah, that 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 goes. By. I only remember that from when I was a kid around but it, here. So that's yeah. it makes sense though because but, if she never had to do it before, why why no, would she why would why she would learn? She? I don't blame her for that, but because that's not really what she should need, need to worry about. I don't, like I say, I, I enjoyed it when I encountered it in Mexico. I was like, oh, wait, you get you guys do it? And you'll like clean the windshield and shit too? Fucking awesome. Right. Go that for is it. cool because. Fuck yeah, it was cool. And then, but they don't like up the price for it because no. it's the price of gas in Oregon no, it's more. Your, your, they, that, um, that's part of what you pay for. It should be, but. Fuck, man. I mean, some of the guys will will try to get like a tip or whatever, you know. Oh, a tip! If, if like you're shining up your hub if you're extra or, helpful or your, and you're uh, impressive, your you should get stuff. a tip. Yeah. If you're doing your job with enthusiasm, you kind of should get a tip. But this is all old school shit. We're all old guys that like this isn't a fucking thing in the world no more. Unfortunately, <laughs> to like appreciate the work of somebody and give them a tip because they're actually enthusiastic about doing a fucking job that they probably should want to do, but like, I don't know what's the point of fucking working to try to, you're going (laughs) to lose everything. It's kind of hard to even compete these days. I don't know. Rant a little bit. Uh, it's, It's that way by design again. Yeah. We, we we're all working standard. hard as fuck, but is anybody like actually like getting ahead? We're all kind of maybe scraping and just doing good because we're kind of awesome individuals. But the damn, system is man. meant for you not to get ahead. That's right. part exactly. of the problem. That and it's almost seems like it's targeted against people like us. The system takes. Well, yes, the system is targeted against people like us. You're <laughs> absolutely 100% correct. So, yeah, so I'm not crazy. No, Fuck you're yeah. not crazy. The system <laughs> is not designed to allow folks like us to succeed. We've had it's our eye not, on you. It is designed to frustrate us, to the we, typically to the point that we act out in violence. That's yeah, what the system and, wants and, us to do. Yeah. We've had our eye on oh, you guys. Man, they want us to really pledge allegiance to the flag. I'm glad you said that. At least I heard somebody else say that right now. Because that that is what it's meant to do. Made to make us melt down mm-hmm. and not do the the things that we probably sh- would do naturally. That's the only reason I thought that Trump may lose is because they put up such an empty fucking candidate that. Would have been. Oh yeah, it would trigger the fuck out of us, wouldn't it? It would really like who knows what they were gonna like. It was kind of a even, throw the fucking dice up. Even the people who don't believe in the fucking whole election system would have been fucking angry. Would have been fucking yeah. It was either way, somebody's gonna lose their shit, and that's what they want. Like Drizzle said, that was like what I'm kind of get. They want us to melt down. Well, somebody's so about many to ways. It, it attracts to the technocratic future for them under the guise of uh, freeing us all from the deep state. Sure. Uh, dude, well, dude, isn't isn't Tulsi? I thought Tulsi was deep state. And now she's... Uh, no, Tulsi's like, yeah, she, she's like in the National Guard fucking PSYOPs division. Brilliant so. PSYOPs division? That's right. Yeah. yeah. I, now I bet she's part, part of that group that put out that... Uh, what is it? The Ghost in the Machine video? Oh, so, oh yeah. That, that was so Tulsi's many. work, man. You yeah. know what? Red yeah. flag. All of that. See, we've seen all that. We know all of that. Now that stuff's put out there to get us here, get us going. 
Yeah, this is the one that they, yeah. What was that, RBL? Talks just like Obama. Tulsi speaks like Obama speaks. Like they went to the same training to fucking. Probably. Oh, they the probably had some of the same. Yeah, treatments. they all had the same fucking. Probably in some fucking school here in Utah because they, yeah, they love to the fucking recruit all that whole that whole Mormon thing is kind of part of that. You know what? I mean, they got I, facilities everywhere. Yeah, oh, well, the, the NSA is like a twenty miles down the road from me. They're oh yeah, in Bluffdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. I can tell you is when uh, <laughs> Tulsi was running for president, none of the people that she was talking to were Democrats. No, yeah. they neither are. I watched, I watched some of her like town hall meetings that she held. Those were not Democrats that were in those crowds, See, dude. The whole Republican <laughs> Democrat thing that's just kind of like Christian Jew. It's just labels that really don't matter. They're put over our heads to fucking mess. It's with the us. one label that they put over have... almost everything, dude. Red yeah, they, they just have different labels, and then they, yeah, and then it's well, because it's got to be black and white. The divide, they, there's got to be a fucking divide. And so, you, talk, you, you talk a lot like a guy who doesn't have fucking or who most most side doesn't have videos of in a freaking lockbox. <laughs> what I was saying, uh, the way you're talking, you sound like a guy who's not being blackmailed. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh well, I I I, I don't not care enough anyway. to be blackmailed. You're gonna have to fucking. Well, that yeah, would maybe suck. I'm being blackmailed, yeah, it would be, I would hate would to be in that position. Are you kidding me? I got yeah. nothing to lose. I'm just trying to win. I don't know what you're like. No, I got nothing to fucking <laughs> blackmailed about. Fuck. <laughs> well, they got blackmailed. Any. Cabinets from Wayfair? People. He never heard I don't know if they pull no, up anything on negative. me. I like I really wouldn't be that ashamed about it. I'm not, I'm only human, so whatever I, I got to be blackmailed about, there definitely ain't anything that would make me an elite person, that's for sure. I wouldn't ever do that. That's what you say. say I haven't ordered any cheese pizzas from Wayfair. Fuck no. <laughs> Dude, fuck no. <laughs> God, I don't even like pizza. It's I funny wouldn't how all that stuff pizza. got put out, though. You know, oh, the yeah. Well, cheese, the hot dog well, yeah. and all that See, shit. It, it's, yeah, I know. And how they did that. And does it, was there really anything to it? Because the cheese pizza. There seems to be something. I don't know. Ask Obama. Exactly. There's well, something there. Um, you know, and I will they, bring up like wouldn't actually, have spent so much time don't eat fucking them. hot dogs. Actually, I will like, and I've heard it, like how yeah, it's like that you sprinkle some truth and some shit, and then throw it, then throw it everywhere, yeah. and then that's what you get: shit spread everywhere, sprinkled with shit. But regardless, there's shit all over the room. There's a pizza-related map on this map. Talking about well, when you see all the people in Hollywood you, dressing their kids up like pieces of pizza, there's got to be something to it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, there is because they're all they're they're signaling to each other, and I think there was like a whole thing where they were like the virtuous signaling to each other. It's like, oh, we're in this group, so we're gonna well, like, and but I I don't know. Sick fucks. I think it's, yeah, it's it's over with. They didn't get what they wanted everybody knows what they're saying now and if people are so stupid to see that what they were doing was not that going forward yeah well the world is a shitty place but i you know I, well they were jamming like hardcore fucking collectivism down everybody's throat through the whole covid thing and into kamala's joy and you mm -hmm. know being unburdened by the <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it was kind of subtle to a lot of people but i think a lot of people get it now or the people who don't get it are so much of a sycophant they're already like uh, well they're well, captured they're they're yeah. ideologically captured uh, yeah. Or some of them are some of them are actually religiously captured because it's it's but, a really strange thing 
uh, that they did with uh, the science, right? They they yeah. literally right. turned it into a religion in and of itself because they tapped into that part of the brain oh. with the adherence of the I religion. Know. So so I'm it literally like what supplanted the Catholic Church has literally now taken its place. Yeah, and yeah. the Catholic thing is not too far from the Mormon thing, and I'm trying to deal with like my own. Well, the Mormon thing's way, a little bit I, different because it's it's a different but, version of yeah, it, control. It's a, it's a new, new it's a York right cult. Like yeah, it's yeah. I, I try to break it down and I try to explain it to my mom, and then my mom just wants to tell me that Jesus loves me, and then I need to get some help and stuff because <laughs> I I go a little bit too hard. I I. I feel bad about it. And but, here's your magic underwear. And, so. <laughs> yeah. And then, but still me and my mom are still all right. Fortunately. Oh, my dad don't even like talking politics with me. We get five minutes into it and he was like, I got to no, go. It, it gets <laughs> high blood pressure. But my pressure. No. Yeah. She won't, doesn't want to hear it, but she wants to. To, to make me read the Book of Mormon. And I was like, I've already read that. You want me to tell it? And then I try to give my perspective. It's like a nope. And and me just trying to push it makes it feel worthless. And then I just feel like an ass. And I don't want to do that to my mom because she's like getting over, like she's about 60 years old, but she's still cool. Old lady dealing with me. Like, I don't know. We weren't even in each other's life for like since when she abandoned me at 12 and then came back into my life as an adult. So it's kind of a different yeah. mother son relationship. Yeah. So, like, any of this, yeah, this is kind of weird to express this to you guys, but I, you know, this is where we talk about this shit. We're, right? we're here to listen, man. We're here to listen. So. <laughs> no, that, that, my ears yeah. perked up because I think I was 11 when my mom got rid of me, you know? Oh, dude. Yeah, but then she tried to come back and then my, my, my dad died. My dad died my and I, I, I got yeah. I got I got all of his stuff like right when I because I was like 18 for like three months and my dad died and then I got all of his stuff because I was like his kid. He was a single dad. My mom had left. It's been six years at that point. So then I got all the estate and all that stuff. I learned, you know, the adult shit. Like right away, I got shoved right up my ass. Oh wow! So <laughs> right away, yeah, like three months into fucking being eighteen, and like, oh, here's and he had a double mortgage, and I would get to learn about all of that, and then health insurance and all that. Sh I was like, holy shit, you're in debt like a motherfucker, kid. Better grow up. <laughs> yeah, That's what you inherited, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not bright, but yeah, so you know. Like yeah, life hits you right fucking square in the face sometimes. So most of the time, I, yeah, yeah. Well. Right now, that's the number one thing people are fucking losing their shit because of medical bills. Oh, Holy I don't fuck. doubt it, dude. That's what the whole yeah. system's designed to do. This it's, is how. The, right this after, is how you know people. Medical people bill. Poor. Right after my dad and they died, I went pay a medical in. bill. I went and pulled a shitty ass stunt on a fucking dirt bike and broke my fucking knee and got a twenty thousand dollar medical bill and people thought I tried to kill myself because I was, you know, yeah, in dude, the dirt bike. It's, it's and when, when I was expressing what, what I was trying to do. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. Like the the cost of care in the United States right now is absolutely ludicrous. And oh, well, uh, again, I worked in the industry. I saw the numbers that they were working with 15 years ago, and it was out of control then. Yeah, about a month ago, I got a fucking cyst cut off the back of my neck. I have to pay three thousand dollars, and then I got like thirty five hundred dollars on the fucking. My insurance only paid like half, and they charged six thousand dollars to cut a fucking chunk of fat off the back of my neck. Yeah, and sew it up. I believe now the insurance and you know how the insurance industry actually works. They take 99%. Yes, that was my deductible, yeah, because I hadn't used it because I, I don't go to the doctor. <clears throat> the one time I need to go to the fucking doctor, they, and then they cut, charge me like almost $7,000 for a, to cut a fucking chunk of fat off the back of my neck. And I have to pay half of it. Well, they take, like, they holy take shit, I need to have that done. 
what do I do? Go fucking get some of my drunk friends drunk enough to fucking cut this thing off the back of my neck? We probably could have did it. Yeah. What were you saying, all, Rob? You know? <laughs> what are you saying, I was Rob? saying the way, the way the insurance industry works is they take 99% of the premiums that they take and throw that in a bank account to pay out you know, claims. And they take 1% of the money and they invest it in things to try to uh, make a profit and pay their employees. So is that the HSA Theoretically, account for the? That's what we're told. I that's don't believe it. that's how it actually works, though. Yeah, I don't. Well, I, I don't. The, I don't think they're putting anywhere near that number away for claims. So that's they, they charge. Out. I know what they charge me in the HSA kind of accounts, the health savings mm-hmm. accounts. I, I know put what you're money into it. it. Or is it the which one of the is what Rob's talking about? Like well, what? It depends on what you have because. Different programs are available in different parts of the country. It's I not know, like there's it's really just one, you know, thing out there. I, one I choice. Worked for uh, W. R. Burke. Really confusing. Years ago, I worked in IT for them, and we uh, had companies all over the country, and they had like one specific company that was an investment company. And if their ship broke, yep. there was a mandate to get it fixed this fucking yesterday, you know? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that was that was what was actually generating all the revenue, most likely. So where do they get their, where do they draw their funds from with the health insurance? On they draw side? their funds from premium and they draw their funds from profit from their investments. Like the HSA accounts that people have, like the or HSA, you, HSA, contribute. you contribute, or the to. FSA. Yeah, I know. Or there's yeah. like the FSA. I'm trying to learn. I'm just they're, asking, they're, so. both of those accounts you contribute to yourself. Correct. Yeah, right. yeah. So I'm trying to learn like what this fucking tax is. So you know, let you know. Let me know. <laughs> well, this this is probably the most important thing to know. All health insurance is a scam. Yeah. Okay. Well, I knew that. I'm just yeah. trying to get like. One hundred percent, there is. Unless, unless God I have it, been so. coerced by my employer throughout the course of my life, and bear in mind, I spent five years selling health insurance. I've never carried health insurance on myself throughout my fifty years on I this life. Through- pretty good deal through the employer and i pay like a hundred dollars a month for a family thing i'm just kind of wondering how regardless through how much i've put into it when i actually need to use it it does it seems like a fucking scam so it is a scam it is absolutely a scam and i say that again having seen it from the inside well once they find out you have good insurance they want to run all kinds of extra tests yeah. Oh fuck yeah, they do because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's payday. You know, and they, but they know how the system in, works too. They're not stupid. Look, you pay cash everybody for the in that, that system is, is there to price. get paid. They're not there because they care about helping people. They're not there because they want to help oh, people live healthier no. lives. I they want to get paid. They know that's where the money is. But it really sucks if you get sick and you don't have that though. That's kind of oh, yeah. twenty two. Not really, dude. Man. Break my father-in-law i don't i don't i know it's a scam but it's like probably a lot worse if you if you don't fortunate enough to have at least a little bit of a plan because my father-in-law had medical he's over he's like 70 71 years old dude basically died right here in my living room they had a shock paddle him back to life uh, so they take him to the hospital Tell my wife that they're going to send him home because there's nothing they can do for him. <laughs> That's what they told my fucking wife. Uh-uh. Isn't he alive my now? My wife laughed at him and told him, fuck you, you're going to admit him into the hospital. That's, Basically, yeah, if it wasn't for my wife, he would have never he would have never gotten into the hospital. So <laughs> That wasn't there that for, long ago, was it, Tom? No. Yeah, I remember you like talking year, about that. Yeah, it was like a, a little over a year ago, maybe a year and a half, something like that. You got unreasonable expectations, Tom. He was dead, then he was back alive again, and you still wanted him to go to the hospital? That's where they kill him. (laughs) Well, they had to take him. The fucking ambulance was already here. That's who shock paddled him back to life. You know what I mean? Um, He does remember that, and he said it's the worst pain he's ever felt in his life. 
Oh, the so, poor motherfuckers that were working on that night didn't know what to think too because they didn't, you know. Those get. Oh, dude, they almost killed him five times in the hospital. Because if it wasn't for my wife, he yeah. would have died there. And they don't give a fuck. They don't care. That's what I mean. Dude, Those poor they gave him his insulin, and a nurse came in 10 minutes later to give him more insulin. If my wife wasn't there to stop that fucking nurse, she'd have given it to him. My, my friend and his wife were in there. So That's scary, man. Having chest pains, and... They were hooking her up for the EKG, and before they started the test, it was already hooked up, and she was having, like, abnormal spikes on the EKG, and the technician saw it, and they ran the EKG, and there was no abnormal spikes, but she had cardiac enzymes in her blood that, you know, indicated she had a heart attack. These motherfuckers were going to send her home, and yeah. her, her husband had to like say, "No, she's not going home. She's still having chest pains, and you guys haven't told her what's wrong." <laughs> you know, and then they were like, "She ended up having five heart attacks in the hospital." Dude, recent, uh, uh, I don't know, four or five months ago, it took I had to take my wife to four different places, and not one of them could tell my wife what was wrong with her, or did they want to tell her? So one hospital I took her to, they wouldn't tell her shit. She was like, look, I don't have any more money to go to another doctor, so I need you to tell me what the fuck's wrong with me. They would not tell her, dude. Don't they kept telling her, oh, you need, to go to, you need to go to your doctor. My wife's like, I don't have the money for that. I need you to tell me. They wouldn't tell her, dude. Hmm. Yeah, I can relate. I have somebody that I yeah, love very much that does So it's, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, dude, yeah. they just... It's designed doctor, to not give a fuck about you or anybody the that is in that life. Yeah. It's designed yeah. to maximize profits. That's what it's yes, designed to do. The only medication I'm on is marijuana. And, That's uh, it. Yeah, I got a little bit of the right here. Yeah, I take yep. some turmeric every day. I, I try to remember to take oh, yeah. some turmeric every day. And uh, and I've been doing uh, charcoal in the morning with my coffee. There you go. It's like That's a good detox. for you. Yeah, yeah, fermented foods, a little sauerkraut every once in a while. Oh, yeah. You know? I might start growing mushrooms. <laughs> and I don't oh, mean yeah. that. No, I, I don't like I regular like, mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. Get some good mushrooms. I can go I get like, set spores right now at the I do at have the a little store dose if I want, of so. mushrooms. I'm probably going to get into like the, the real ones here in a little bit. But Lion's yeah. mane really freaking help with your cognitive yeah. ability. Oh, my yeah, it does. Dude. I take that as every well day. as your energy. I take a 17 blend of mushroom, two capsules every day. Yeah. That, Too bad you need the cognitive ability to find the fucking lions, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, the lions, you just read between the lines. We know where the lines are. We try to dance around them. We just got to exist between the lines. That's kind of the point of this anarchist thing. You can't really be in the lines. You got to be just right outside of them. You got a lot going on in the background there, RBL. I'm trying to step up my game. Dude, that's definitely wild, stepped man. up your game from the last time. Dude, yeah, there's like a whole casino in there. You, you winning? <clears throat> I guess. No clock on the wall. No, well, <laughs> we had, uh, we had, yeah. Pull that yeah, lever. Party, party get the kid, lot, the kid's dude. birthday. So there was this little party <laughs> light, and I grabbed it. Oh, nice. Hey, make sure you tip the girl that brings you drinks. Yeah, or she'll what's, poison. What's the nineteen seventy two for? Is that the year year you were born? No, that's just kind of a. It it was originally to block the light that's above. Oh, okay. Seventy two could be fun. Dustin's. It's very interesting, it's very interesting though the stats that's that are on that about like uh, what a home cost and and a loaf of bread and such. Oh, yeah. In, in 72. Dude, in the 80s, my mom and dad were paying a mortgage, and it was $85. I'd be thousand rich as fuck. $85 a month? $85 a month, brother. Holy shit, dude. So, yeah. I had no concept of money in the 80s. But then again, dude, my dad was only making like five well, bucks an hour. 
my new home the money was is going 72. to the store to buy in can candy for pennies. Like penny candies was a thing in the 80s. That was my concept of the 80s. I was born in 1980. So my mom was renting a house, <laughs> yeah. a house of three bedrooms, even though it was a freaking falling down shack for $125 a month in 1980. Wow. And the, and the rent went up to 150 in the like four or five years I lived there. <laughs> Well, yeah, the house I had to sell when I was, my dad died and I got that. I got quite a bit for it, but then with his second mortgage and anything, I don't even know. what. That was a long time ago, too. That was like 30 years ago when I had to deal with that. I remember 97. Uh, so, that was a completely different market. Yeah, I know. I sold a house and everything right after I was 18 with the help of some family members. I think they've stuff, broken but, the housing market. Oh, it is, bro. Oh, yeah. It like, should have right collapsed now, a long time ago. The house I have right now, I pay in taxes on like 340, almost three, 300, almost $400,000 is the tax value I pay every year. Holy shit. Good thing the, I have an escrow account, but I think my fucking payment's going to go up because of how much the taxes have went up in this place. I owe like 180, but the, I don't even know what. Like just a lot. I I'm paying taxes on or it's like four hundred thousand dollars. I kind of want to look into getting the fuck out of this. They you don't. Know? They don't give you the opportunity to challenge the assessed value. I don't know anything about that. I'm. Oh shit! Like is that well, a actually? Thing? I just did that for the first time ever because uh, you can apply first time I've ever owned a house was this year. But like I have like a corner law, like, it, it's pretty choice. Like I wouldn't even like dispute that value. I I know that's pretty I mean, much. I what would it's worth. shit anything to lower the the tax assessment on it. Or that's if basically I what I that. did is I just went in and told like, look, this I got job. This place is a I, piece of shit. I see. Like, yeah, I, I, I get that point of it, but like on the other hand, I could use that as yeah, to like, job, hey, that's yeah. what this is worth if I um, want to sell it. That's the thing. That like, I don't know, want the fuck yeah, out of it. That's not. It's not going to factor in so much when when it comes to. to I have no value. idea about this stuff. Yeah. So tax, um, tax value. So we need to invite, value we need to invite gangbangers yeah. to to live on that property until later when you develop it. <laughs> I mean, that is one way to do develop it. it. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to live here anymore. I kind of want out. So I don't know anything about any of the real estate bullshit, whatever. I know I got some resources in where I live. I don't want to just burn it and. Putting your house on the market right now would not be a good thing to do, dude. Not but what if I don't. Quick. But what if you can I do it quick and get it done, you'll be all right. Unless you're, unless somebody's offering you cash for your house. There's a lot of that. I know there's the BlackRock. All I got to do is is just put it up there and I'll get called. I'll get my phone will blow up all day. Yeah. And, if I even, uh, and it's I'm so fucking sketchy about that, though, but I don't know what to do. I do want to I do kind of want to sell it and I don't want to live here. It's not like mm -hmm. I'm just burning my fucking and and checking out. But it's like I I don't want to like live I don't want to be here forever I do want to maybe have the opportunity to move somewhere else I know I have resources and mm. and equity where I'm at I have no idea what to do with that shit and it's scary as fuck to me. So do you have some place you, you would like to go? <laughs> That's good. Not question. really. I, I don't know yet. It, I'm just playing with ideas, but it's you know. I, I, well, you I, should I probably have I, you should probably have a better idea of where you want to go before you try to sell, because then that kind of really, fucks yourself. You should probably yeah. be talking about how great and awesome it is where you're at, and then be like, "But I might be." Except for I'm, um, yeah. Did you hear? That it's like in the fucking Mormon fucking. It, it's I, they're gonna price me out of it. I'm gonna be. Uh, it's almost like that's why like my panic is is like the billionaires oh, yeah. are taking over the millionaires. And I am going to be priced right the fuck out of this. I am cast out already. It's like they do not want. I'm already holding on at the, you know, 
at my right. very last risk, man. And inflation, they can. Yeah, uh, I'm not the kind of person that can fucking afford this shit with so, my fucking. I mean, I would, I would right. start. So it sounds big... like you, you so could I'm use a lower my... cost of living. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, so that's what I would look at. Is I, where I in the country have... is going to be less expensive or than more. where I'm living right now? You need Ooh, that, it's, to the John it's, Smith it's, in his front yard. Right I know. Trump I know all of this. The, uh, there's, all, there's so much other stuff I got going on with that. Yeah, there's. I'm just asking questions, and so anybody's perspective is appreciated. Like with the fucking real estate thing, any of that. Anybody knows about selling houses or fucking. But yeah, after this. mom died, I sold her house in six weeks i bought okay. i bought this place in in jasper just was outside that long of ago and, but did the people that approached you like how did you do it and were the people you use a realtor you, you just go through yeah but didn't they seem creepy though because i i've tried to do that and then i get like right now as soon as i even like apply with any of that stuff on the internet i get like all these calls and they're like a lot of people are fucking well, you have you have friends, right? Friends and family, no, people no, people much. that you talk no. to on a regular <laughs> basis that you can uh, you you guys. trust their judgment on go. some things. Yeah, that's that would be you guys. I don't really have much friends or family these days. Not in real life, no. Well, dude, you're not in Oregon, so this isn't going to do you any good. But I know a great realtor. But I mean, I do have some like my my family. No, I'm not. I'm not associated with them. I'm kind of like a black sheep. Okay. If you kind of get my drift, and no, I, I like I get a Christmas friends. card from her every year. <laughs> like like real life friends, yeah. I had some in high school. We're not in touch no more. I'm you know so okay. no, I don't really have a lot of friends. Like you guys are my friends and family, homies. <laughs> I uh, you know what I would do? Would make, would make like twelve thousand dollars off selling your home for you personally. Like that's what they would make. I think. Yeah. I'm not sure about those. I, uh, I, think, I, would I think it's fairly somebody. standard across the country. I, I mean, the, the well, laws was, vary from state to state. I don't know. I but just it's always a percentage know. of the sale price it's of the house. house. It's three or five or six percent. percent. But, you know, the real estate agent I bought my house from was like a lady I grew up next door to. So it goes back to like neighborhood yeah. stuff. But. So why don't you talk to her? I don't even know if she's still in the business anymore. Because it doesn't matter. Even... No, but I okay. mean, she could, t I mean, talk to her I about could. the process. You, you know what I mean? Yourself as I well. could, but I don't even know how I would get in talk contact with her oh, because that okay. was back when I had Facebook like 12 years Man, ago. And you're not good at counseling sessions. These guys, you don't even let these guys get their. I, uh, I'm kind uh, of a fucking anti socialist. Negative nearly it all away. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a, a social kind of dude. That's why I'm like hanging out with you guys right now, man. Uh, that's uh, probably why uh, most of us are here. <laughs> no, I got, I'm not. You guys are my friends. That's why I'm asking. I guess it's, there's this new this thing called the world. internet where you can go to like put these terms into a search engine and it'll like bring up I all. Know, and then I read it and then I get like. Do I really trust what this internet search engine is even telling me? Fucking hit up AI. <laughs> no, I'd just rather listen to. Real, I'd rather talk to real people. That's why I, like, I was just I joking, dude. It. I know that's me too. What? Me too. What, uh, that's why. That's why actually this is better than anything I've ever got on the. You know, it's like what about, part of? I don't what know what to do. It's like the concentrated Mormon section. You talk like Salt Lake uh, City. So, yeah. I, I'm in Heber City, which is right around the corner on the Wasatch back instead of the Wasatch front. So you go to Park City, right around where it's, it's kind of rural. It's not rural so more, so much no more. Sorry, yeah. It was country. Now it's. Are you, just like are, you uh, are you close to any nice ski mountains? Yeah, right there. Like as I'm pointing, they're like right there. If I go out the door. All right, so don't the best you. Team, I was, I, you know why I didn't graduate high school? Because I snowboarded too much. I got kicked out of high school because I I I uh, I did I I fucking skip school and go snowboarding every day. 
That's cool as shit. Like I probably would have done the same. <laughs> I, done I mean, the I did yeah. skip school all the time. So uh, in the summer, I, I'd go dirt biking, and then I was also a pretty like because I'm a big, strong guy. But I, I because I didn't make the football team because I broke my fucking collarbone. Uh, dirt biking, Jesus. Then I was kind of like that wasn't cool. So you're the, soft is what you're saying. You couldn't take a little fucking tumble over. <laughs> Well, I well no the, no, the his uh, life path. The football off. coach was like, "Oh no, we're not going to let you." Eat. It was a new football coach, and like anyway, yeah, yeah I kind of do all that, but break my fucking <laughs> self, snowboarding, ski, yeah, dirt biking, football. But snowboarding I'm, is like I'm curious. core strength. You you I didn't in. really like playing football though. That was kind of like put on me by my. Yeah, I was supposed to do it. I thought it was pretty cool though, because I could break people fucking on part. You know, like you could hit people on purpose, but that was the only thing I thought football was cool for. <laughs> I'm curious, RBL. You jumped in late. What's hmm. on your mind tonight? Oh, uh, various things. But earlier, my son was playing Sonic the Hedgehog on his sega genesis oh yeah and i was like yeah and i was like wow so the whole world was taken over by a mad scientist this dr gates robot gates we'll call him. <laughs> dr gates and he takes over for lack of a better i can't remember his name uh, and he, he takes all these nice little furry animals that sonic used to like party with in the woods and turns them into robot Mind controlled zombie killing machines, and they try to kill him the whole game. And like, all he's trying to do is set them free. Wow. And like, so when he sets them free, they just turn into a rabbit and then they jump off. They don't even say thanks or anything. Sounds so. like some Will Smith and iRobot kind of vibe. Yeah, you're <laughs> yeah Sonic's got a rough lot in life, you know, but, but he's is. fast as shit. Yeah, man. That's, that, plus, I would think man. that compensates for it, right? If you're quick enough to see him, then you think he's cool, you know? I the mean, there's always, always Mario yeah. and his psychedelic mushrooms. I don't know, dude. In the love life, being quick is not a thing that you want to, to do. <laughs> no, but it's really good for when you're robbing banks. Okay, well, I'm talking about to please the other. It's easy yeah. to rob banks, guess, just so guess, you know. How, how, do we, how do we get into um? What do we call that? Uh, the ladies don't appreciate you being that quick. It's I'm just um, trying hard to get that second strike from YouTube. That's all. Oh, okay. for Robin Banks. Yeah. <laughs> I can I'm, help I'm you get a strike. Throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. Oh well, so, uh, I was. About- well, it help if yeah yeah I've been I, I've thought about Robin Banks these days because it's, it's not hard. hard out there. It's, 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 the balls to to it, it's occurred to me. I, know. I got the balls. That's what scares me. I got the balls. I just don't think I should probably do it. See, that's it, not, it's it's not the right way to live, Andy. No, it isn't. So yeah. good. Thing. So here, let, let me tell you how easy it is, Andy. <laughs> now don't talk me into it. <laughs> <laughs> talk me into it. Um, how so easy I was it? locked up Are with a school teacher who, who robbed a bank. And oh, he really? only did three years for it and got all the money. Just so I you know, three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. How much? But dude, basically all you have to do oh. is write a note and then tell the teller to not put any devices in it. Any tracking devices, any exploding devices. They have to do the teller has to do exactly what you tell them to a God, team. I need to know a bank teller. I'll give them like twelve thousand if they give me like anyway. So okay, get- I'm getting ideas now. We're so we're making they a bank have, robbery plans on your channel. Drew. You don't even have to use a gun, dude. <laughs> no, we're not. This is this is uh, okay. for entertainment oh, purposes. No, we're not. Everybody yeah, knows this, that. We're just lips, it's, 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 guys. It's, it's, yes, yes, yes. The town over from where <laughs> I live was robbed with a screwdriver. Yep. Yep. Screwdriver. Yep. By Did a man it. standing on top of the teller's, like. Cage? I don't want to say desk, but you know the the cashier, the, the thing with the window. The guy jumps up on top of that, like so. Basically, 
the the guy giving the money could grab this man's ankles and break his back in half. And he's standing way up there with a screwdriver as his what deadly weapon to rob a bank. I would have broken that dude. But the guy paid him out. It's not my yeah, mind. Because you're told no, to do exactly what he tells you to do. Right. That's right. that's how I, I you know what I mean. Like money and then took half. Whatever you're told. Because here's here's the explanation for that is they don't know if that person in the bank robbing the bank has been has been checking has been uh, stalking that that teller. You know what I mean? I guess theoretically, yeah. You don't know if they so, know them. That's what you're saying. They don't know if that. Listen, the dude, I, the teacher, is. the teacher that I was locked up with knew somebody that worked in the bank, dude, because they didn't. He didn't tell them to take the money out of the. So a bank has a safe that they draw money from every day. Okay, uh, they they all their tellers have you know whatever cash they give out per day for them, but there's another safe, dude. That looks just like plain fucking, you don't even know it's a safe. It looks just like a piece of furniture. That's where they're getting their money from. And he knew where that piece, where that was at. So he told the teller, look, I want you to go over to that, wherever it was at, and get the money from there. That's how he got 365 grand. Because he wouldn't have got that from the tellers. They're only, you know, they have maybe one to $2,000 in their, in their drawer, if that. Right. So in case they get robbed. So he knew he had been, he, he either knew somebody in that bank or he was going in and out of it and he was, he was watching them. So that's why they tell the tellers to do exactly what, what, you know, yeah. whatever the person says. It's, for their it's, a, it's a safety thing. basically. Well, yeah. yeah. It's for their safety. But then like what you're saying, who knows if that teller and then the robber are, on the same page well what i mean by Very stalking is like I, I, yeah. they don't know if that if the bank robber's been watching that teller you know what i'm saying to, to yeah or you know, see what, what their to fucking the daily teller. life is like i know where you live <laughs> there's so exactly. much to it but here's like that dude got what 375 grand but he was still in prison that's kind of only three years, dude. I know, oh, yeah, but I'd rather years. Years. Here's his own, uh, that's yeah. a fucking cakewalk, dude. Fuck no, yeah, but is. I'd rather avoid <laughs> I'd rather avoid two seconds in the authorities' hands, man. So look, I don't yeah. wish prison upon my worst enemy, but dude, Me I would neither. do three years for 375 grand, dude. You'd have to be patient. <laughs> like, I don't know, I ain't got that much time no more. We're gonna get over and over, more. man. Can I get we have three more years. <laughs> This lady. I get what you're saying. That's pretty light, but yeah. Did he get to keep the 375 grand or did they seize it? No, he got the money, brother. Okay. He, so cut, he cut everybody off in his life. His ex wife, so they, they had everybody. No, but so the authorities had no seize on it, what he got. He turned himself in. Ah. Uh, okay. Wow. He, went, he, lived in L, he lived up in LA area. Came down to San Diego, robbed the bank, went back to L.A. for a month or two and took care of some stuff he needed to take care of. Then he came back to San Diego. He went to the police department and told them that he robbed the bank and they laughed at him. They're like, dude, shut the f They told him basically to get out of there. So he went to the highway patrol and the highway patrol arrested him. He had a hundred bucks on him. When he got to the Fed, the federal, you know, detention center, the prison, he had a hundred bucks on him. The, they seized that right away because they automatically think it's bank. The you know, so it took him like a month before he got his hundred bucks, so they could figure, you know, find out whether it was part of the, the bank money or whatever, and it wasn't. So they had to give it to him. So his name yeah, was John. He was a good. Hey, he was a good dude. No, he's an I older gentleman. A cool story. Um, How but he was a good dude, it? man. This was. You would never think that dude would rob a bank ever a day in your life. That's how, how good of a dude he was. Hey, why did wow. he turn himself in? What kind of stupid motherfucking bank robber is that? No, no, that's because he took that I... one month and went to go stash the money, dude. But how long? Well, yeah, ago but it's different it, time, if, different. If era, he goes, probably. if he goes to the authorities that have the jurisdiction of where he robbed the bank, is like, look, I'm the dude that robbed the bank, and they're like. Shut up! Get the fuck out of here. 
why do you then like keep going until somebody incarcerates you? It's like, oh well, okay, I tried. I guess I'll just go live my life with my three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. Maybe prison sex was on his bucket list and he, you know, had to find a way in. No, dude. I mean, I, I would I, it was a smart move on his part. Because okay. if you just take off with the three hundred and seventy five dollars, you're always looking behind your back to to the feds There's might be after your that. ass. There you might be I'm other saying? people after you, but like, how long ago was this? That's kind of a big point. Oh, like how this it was, was back in 2003-ish. Okay. So even then, even then is kind of a different time. I, mean, I would think know. typically when Just you get... that, that being in perspective, it's kind of a different time. Like you, fuck fuck it, that the goddamn mean. feds came after my ass when I went on. The oh, fucking yeah, movie. everybody. So, uh, and, I, and I didn't steal 375000 Yeah, who knows? stole some fucking mail. <laughs> I, I, well, my point is, like, nobody's probably going to live that story of that dude these days. So that's why I never won nobody's the 10000 Ten million dollar sweepstakes, Tom. You stole my goddamn yeah. mail. Yeah, I took it all, brother. <laughs> probably stole my. Uh, yeah, I had a credit card stolen. DB Cooper. Box, but I don't think it was Tom. <laughs> Ed McMahon would be oh, sick of you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Ed McMahon was sober a day in his life. Was Ed McMahon really the fucking? Sweepstakes guy, that's Publisher like a whole fucking Mandela fucking house, effect man. thing. Absolutely. Well, that's a Mandela effect, was he really? Yes, he was. He was all yeah, over daytime was. television. Absolutely. I know, I, I know, yes. I know, but that is like what they call like one of those Mandela effect things. Oh, that's it? bullshit. I know. That's to make I know. you I know it's I'm just I'm just no, but they, they say that. I, I know. Yeah. Just you like seen that motherfucker while our moms were watching the soap operas. Psychological that operations. Is, yes, that is they mass mind they, control. They say that. They say that's the thing that oh Ed McMahon wasn't in the sweepstakes fucking thing. And bullshit. you need to fucking look up uh you know real estate transactions before you fucking go down those rabbit holes. <laughs> I was just I'm just joking. Heck. You, first thing you got to know is like most of the time I'm not that serious, especially when I'm talking to you fuckers. We're not that serious. A little bit. I'll get into serious shit, but no, the sweepstakes and the fucking reels. No, I'm not. I'm not buying into the to what you're saying. Mandela effect. <laughs> no, that shit is bullshit. I was just fucking around, man. All they, they do bring that up. They, they try to tell people that fucking Ed McMahon wasn't in. That is one of those stupid fucking Mandela effect bullshit things. I was just playing. I don't believe in any of that. So, I don't believe in anything. I didn't know. Did Mandela die in prison or did he get released and become president? I mean, uh, I, uh, I don't know. He got I released. Don't <laughs> I don't know. I just brought that up just fucking around and see how that. Calling, calling you out on it. Oh, I, you don't need to call me out. I don't believe that in act up harder here on this show. No, that's Thursday night. That's Thursday well, you, night. you should. It's Friday night. That's right. Friday night. <laughs> it's, mind. It's, it's Friday night. You should probably hear that. And night. I'll hit the pipe at the same time. We agree to disagree. And what, what kind of wine? Sometimes you we agree that? to agree. Oh, yeah. And, and sometimes then we melody. disagree to agree. You know what's even worse is when there we you go. There and yell at each other in disagreement. Is that a fucking mer- that a, like what? A red? What? Like I can is read that like a menorah. What is that on there? Moreau, m- m- uh, yeah. it's a tree of life with Jesus. Of course ah. it is. Jesus or is it tree. Odin? Oh, there or is it Odin? oh, that looks. That bottle looks sick. It's a. It's, it's, an organic, it's an organic wine with uh, no sugar added and no uh, certified pesticide free. Fuck yeah. Nice. Like a Merlot, though. That's what Where did it come it's from? Red, it's a red blend. It's some company it comes in Colorado. From, Greece, from the earth. Colorado? <laughs> that's the company. That's where the company's headquartered. I don't know where the fuck they get their shit from. Uh huh. Uh, they, well, they, they, they probably grow, grow their uh, from the ground. Hopefully, he's liking it though. I think they have some vineyards in Colorado. Do they? I, th- uh, I well, they have a, the high altitude. Yeah, they probably get. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because the down in uh, Chile, 
and uh, Peru. They have levels. They, they have some yeah, fucking Argentina, awesome wine that yeah. comes out of Chile, man. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are some of the best. South American, high altitude. And I'm not very much of a wine drinker. That shit will make me fucking sick as fuck, man. But I do appreciate the fucking taste and everything. I couldn't down it like old Rob there is. He's like a champ. He's just Oh, I can drink it like it. Rob's drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. No, I mean, I can go through a bottle like by I myself said, in I, an yeah. evening. Easy. Oh, yeah. If it was if it was good whiskey, I could do that. But holy shit, wine! I can do that. Yeah, too. I could probably do it. I could probably do it in the moment. Next morning, you would not want to know me. Yeah, holy fuck. I drank one of those big. I could. I, uh, I don't do. That. I don't do that on purpose with the wine. I could appreciate the taste of a good dark red wine, but ooh. yeah, I don't. Uh, I drink it like Rob does, and with the whiskey. That probably I probably shouldn't so much, but try not to. So I'm just gonna smoke my fucking weed. Got some really purple weed though. It's mostly purple. It's pretty good shit. I I heard like, they, does the state allow you to buy marijuana there, or is it still? Legal? No, no, no. It's black market. That's why I get good shit because I know good people. And actually, I don't even have to pay much for it. Kind of get it for free. I heard the purple is mostly them. due to the cold temperatures near. Like it's it's more of like the indica. I don't know much about it. No, but. you can you can turn any weed purple. Yes, that is true. How do you do it, Tom? But I love the I lower like, temperatures. I kind of like more of the indica because I use weed for those indica kind of properties, like the you know to calm me down and to sleep and stuff because i'm way too intense i need to be shut down you know so i don't need sativa that'll keep me like work cold I, I don't know when you water you use cold water colder water like uh normally you just want to use room right. temperature if you start to drop a the see this you know science, make it a little bit know. cold it'll turn your weed purple really yeah yeah or I, just I learned being outside from- like the four plants I did this year, they all turned purple. And this, uh, it's like a half ounce, but and it's like little tiny, tiny, tiny buds. Like they've like oh yeah, harvested I know what you're talking about. Quick or this like little tiny, like you know, and that's what the whole bag. I didn't like pay anything for it. I let these kids kind of do their thing in my garage, and then they hook me up, and allegedly, allegedly. So. <laughs> Anyway, I don't really like pay money for the weed, but it's pretty good shit that these kids come up with these days. But it's no, totally not legal in this state one bit, allegedly. Well, that's, all, allegedly. that's all right, because Daddy Trump is, is going to make it okay. I heard that was... Oh, no, I do not want to smoke. I would never smoke that shit then. If it's legal like that, then like, nope, I'm done. Oh my I god! As, as soon as he got elected, there was all these like unsourced, just um, X fucking posts about all these things that he's gonna do, and he's already doing. <laughs> and he, I've he seen him for a friend for another couple of fucking months. Uh, Why wouldn't your state make it legal? There's, I mean, well, they make so much money it, off of it. You know what I mean? It is medically legal, they even, and they don't even use it for what they said they were going to use it for. Right. Utah, you know, the the schools are still well, shit. You can get a medical card here, but you're not going to be able to drive or have guns or like have any rights whatsoever. You can do that, but you're going to. Oh, you might want to look into that, dude. No, I. As far I as the gun rights go, no, I heard that's it, what New York State does. Much. If you get it's uh, very medical much with you New York even, State, you lose your driver's you lose your ability to own a firearm and you driver's license. Can, you can have a gun. I bet they can fight that. Marijuana, but you can't have a gun. While but you're on like really, I've I, I've got the public. shit. I know the dispense. There's one dispensary here. It's in Park City, and their shit is fucking shitty weed. It's it's horrible. I'd rather just like kind of black market it at this point. Like all things considered. Get better weed. Yeah. I don't even have to we pay for it. You can feel cool. <laughs> like and I, I've been buying some government weed. If I weed. actually got pulled over with it, I'd get it. Like it's almost like a traffic ticket. It's not that horrible to 
if you get caught with it, the likelihood of me getting in trouble with weed is like none. And I'd rather just deal with kind of the black, except for the, except for the one element where you get kind of some of those criminal shitheads in the mix because it is black market in large amounts like pounds kind of but allegedly i, I miss mexico man <laughs> i do because I, yeah. I can literally pick up my phone it's all text <laughs> my dude and be like all right what's the menu this week all right give me an ounce of this and an hour later my order arrives yeah, that is kind of bad. I mean, awesome, but like I fucking loved it. Really, I just know I a couple of people, it. and they're like, "Well, how about?" And then, I mean, again, it's not it's not technically legal, what is it? What is it? but I mean, how it's, it's do a that here. thriving business. Yeah, well, you, you can call a dispensary, and, and they'll I, fucking I, they'll bring it to you. Not in Texas, I know, but like I don't. I know, trust but here they do. What those dispensaries <laughs> are making. Like, there's a whole difference between the weed the dispensaries put out and some of that old school, still illegal black market weed. I love that shit. Some of it's pretty fucking good. And no, I'm not saying it's not. No, and, but it's probably coming from Mexico. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Or, like, who cares what the fuck is coming from? I could literally get whatever you wanted. In Mexico, I don't have much of a menu, but I, I get weed plenty all the time. Pretty good shit. And I'm just saying, it was market. crazy. It was absolutely crazy. I, I could get, I could get DMT. Oh, I got a big jar. Not a big jar. I guess it kind of is big for DMT. I got a jar of DMT in my room. I don't even dare to do it. Hmm. I have not dared to fucking touch that shit. I have some DMT. Oh, you should, allegedly, you should do a lot of it. No, Maybe. how do you want me to? I, I'll hey. go do it right now on screen. I, I'm not kidding. I, I do not. Man, I no, you want to watch? It. You would want to watch me do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't dare to do it. I've had it for like two months. I don't dare I to do it. I'll do it right now. <laughs> Either way, I also was gonna get into some mushrooms, and I got on this fucking podcast. I was I, really I, what I was going to do is like, do the radio, man. Oh well, it, it's yeah, yeah. Color uh, it, 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 it's what it, it's a it's a stream lab. But it's a stream. It's yeah, live stream. It's it radio. Is. It's live radio. I was just using words. I was just using words. We're being broadcast heard, on radio stations. You heard what I meant. You need you to go get some DMT and show us uh, exactly right. what happens. That's right. I have a, <laughs> well, I have a message for the mechanical them. elves. I don't know. I don't know if that would. That probably would get grizzled banned from YouTube. We do not need. To. No, maybe. I'm too I, I, know, I, actually, man. No, I mean, the I the shit they let able, go on YouTube is like, ridiculous. That seems like peer pressure, really. I mean, there's really no uh, medical misinformation being had here, so no. you're good. You're clear you to just be dab it through a dab. Right? Right? Marijuana is safer than most of your groceries. It is. That well, is I don't even... D- depends who's growing it and what kind of pesticides they're using. It might be just True. as good as your groceries. Yeah. Yeah. And I buy organic well, groceries. Are probably covered in. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Sorry. So how's it going out in uh, Oregon, Tom? <clears throat> as far as what? I don't know. How's the how's the climate? I mean, after Trump got elected, there was a lot of upset people. So you've seen it out I of the. Think they all went home. And I haven't up. seen anything, dude. But then I'm I don't live in Portland, so it, more than likely it happened there. If anything, <clears throat> I but I uh, to be honest with you, dude, if you look on the on the the map um only a small portion of portland and salem voted uh for democrat most of the state was red this year really wow oh, really wow yeah. i think so it's a lot of I, I'm a, dude, i'll be real honest with you i think i maybe saw three kamala harris signs in people's yards compared to like i saw trump shit everywhere Maybe neighbors right across the way Oregon. have trump flags one down the streets got trump flags all over his house you know what i mean like dude 
sick of fans. They sorted it out <laughs> in the last three. Yeah, they're all fine. In the, in the southern they're part fine. of New Jersey, I saw both, but I saw a majority of Trump. But I went up to, like, Connecticut like three weeks before the election, and – I saw a shit ton of Kamala Harris signs, and I was I was surprised because that's like the only place that I saw a whole bunch of. Yeah, but that's that's Connecticut's like mostly an upper, higher, upper middle class, right? Yeah, I mean, there's there's you know like people making two hundred grand a year. A lot of people living near New York City. People there live such happy lives. Well, they, mo they, most of your poor Democrats probably they, didn't they vote. For even after <laughs> it's crazy. It's like every oh. other state near the big cities. They have so many people. They overvote the rest of the state. Well, I talked because, to uh, one of the gentlemen that I work with. He's Hispanic, and. Uh, I, I I asked him if he was going to vote, and he was like, "I've never voted before, but I think I'm going to vote this year." And I'm like, "No, don't vote." <laughs> and he was like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you don't you don't want to vote for them, to uh, you know, dirt bags." And he was like, "But here's the thing: is he kind of knows what's going on because he mentioned to me the other day that Tom, they're trying to kill us all, aren't they?" And I said, "Yes, dude, they are." Mm -hmm. So he's he kind of you know what I mean. I don't know like exactly what he knows. What information? But I know he hands on. <laughs> just go, just go easy. Let him. He's into it, but he knows. Oh no, dude! No, like no, I've already. Tell you. Let him tell you shit. Yeah. I just mean, yeah. Like, oh yeah. What, what else that's, you know about that? That's a that's a pretty profound um, realization for. Yeah, when you actually, people. I know they're trying to kill us all. That's 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 pretty hit. That that opens the door right there, dude. For me oh, to be yeah. like, check this out, dude. Yeah. And. and like and they're not even know about human trails. Either. He didn't know anything about chemtrails. Holy and we were shit. out the other it was last week we were out and they were just bombing. There was like four fucking planes, dude, just hitting it. Not, I have a whole like dude, they've been week, like, before the storm. And here, I told like, him, I said, Yes, then hey, there's a storm. I have you see those right? lines in the sky? Yeah. And he was like, Yeah, he's all deep. I asked him, I said, Do you know what those are? And he was like, No, I said, Those are chemtrails. Oh he was God. like what is that? And I'm like, it, the <laughs> chemicals are spraying. There, I so I explained to him, chemicals are spraying into this into the sky, or to try just to block the sun and, and all kinds of other shit. You know what I mean? Upper and, uh, atmospheric, stratospheric injections. Tom. But then there's also you can see the frequencies. Look, dude, I, I can't. I, if I start there. telling him all that shit, then he gets lost. <laughs> so if I keep I, it super stupid and easy, like that's, they're that's just trying to kill us. Then he's trying it. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm trying to get it. Yeah, 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 it's not a bad fucking pad. Oh, they're putting additives in the to block out the sun. Uh, I think it's to kill us. But then there's also the frequencies. You can see pulse through the clouds. So it's here's the deal, trials. gentlemen. You can they, see doesn't it strengthen they, uh, they knew the radar and harp and all that shit? Yeah, Effective they knew a large percentage of the human military. population was vitamin D deficient. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they did. Absolutely, they did. That's and then they uh, when they got to the, they got to a certain point with that shit. Then they came out with now the we're COVID. Going back to the beginning of this no. conversation. Yeah, when the I joined, in, we're talking about how the industry is milking real. everyone under the death and taking all their wealth. Yeah. yeah, you can buy vitamin D, but that turns out to be rat poison. That it turns out like no, but the whole crazy. the whole thing with with the COVID was if you weren't vitamin D deficient, you didn't have anything to worry about. Yeah. You're gonna be and fine. Well, that that out, the thing knows and have COVID, I haven't even had a cold or a sniffle since then. I never took any of their shit. Never done any of it. I haven't even got a fucking sniffle for the last four years. It's crazy. Yeah, last I four years, dude. I have not been sick since June of 2019. Yeah, that was the last either. time I was like bedridden. Me either. I haven't I'm had a fucking cold or anything since then, and that's so weird because I used to at least get them a little bit. Yeah, I used but to get I've something noticed, like at least once every couple of years. And I haven't since then. You too, right? Yeah. I haven't either. It's it's crazy. But yeah, um, I ha I've been so well, I, 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 even had I, Absolutely, I'll I, take it. I, I will too, but it's weird. It's kind of like, what the fuck is that? I'd like to take this opportunity for a public service announcement. Go get your flu and COVID shots at the same no, time. No, I never did. I never <laughs> have. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Never took I, them. The last time I was really, really sick, where I, uh, where I was in bed for three or four days, almost got pneumonia. Um, I uh, went to the doctor, and she asked me if I got my flu shot this year, and I said no. I said I don't take flu shots. She said, "Why not?" I said, "Well, because I don't know what's in them." And then she quit talking to me, and she would only talk to my wife. Wow. So my wife was As in, if in you the room. That was probably, <laughs> protocol. That was probably something in what she had to memorize as protocol in her job. Maybe right. I don't know. Like, um, because I, I think she it. didn't want to talk to me anymore because she didn't know it was in the fucking vaccines either, and she was having to yeah. take one of those every fucking year. I talk to like that with nurses when I've had to deal with it and they get really weird when you kind of know a little bit more than what, what they kind of know, or they sense that, you know, when you question what they've been, what they've memorized hmm. and, you know, like our friend Zoe would probably say a lot to this and like being a nurse and like what they're kind of supposed to do, what they're told to do. And then, why you lose your job because you know so, better than what they're told to do the last doctor i had my wife and i had she was supposed to be a natural path doctor she wouldn't she would ask you like if you wanted pharmaceutical shit, but wouldn't she would just ask you there or give you an alternative you know whatever yeah that's but, uh, even rare. so yeah well i uh, dude i don't think she i think she's full of shit. but anyway um well, so either way, I, I went, I had a, um, like a 50 year checkup. I went to her and, uh, we were, I, you know, we were in the room talking and I, uh, this was around COVID and, and when monkey pox was like, um, starting oh, to I, pop out and, you know, be, kind of become a thing or whatever. So I asked her about it. I said, so what's up with the monkey pox? She said, oh, you don't have to worry about that. It's just a gay disease. And I said, <laughs> What? I said, you mean like AIDS? She was like, yeah, 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 like AIDS. Oh, I said, well, I don't believe in AIDS. I don't believe that it was a gay disease. And she was like, oh, well, I treated people with AIDS. And I was like, okay, this is, I, I need to shut the fuck up because I'm about to tell you, school your doctor ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I just shut the fuck up. I didn't say anything else after that. At that point, I knew she was fucking full of shit. Hmm. What the fuck are you going to tell me that disease is only going to affect gay men. Well, I can tell that the black, 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 black people too. Like, um, she was I probably brief. She was probably brought into a fucking meeting. Or I can tell you and why. told that's what we. That's what we. That's what this is. You are up, Andy. You lose your job. RBL's got to tell you why. When when a woman has a dick. Pumping away all in her. That's just Dinah, just, which is built for that. With it doesn't it. rip and bleed and create a blood to bodily fluid fucking tunnel into the bloodstream, which is the mechanism of transfer. Not not you know breathing like Fauci had people thinking. So they were dragging guys behind and trucks. Stereo on boxes, you silly motherfucker! Come I was just saying what is what is all going on is a bunch of bullshit. Well, uh, I think it was um, more a fact that most of the people who were getting really sick had been running themselves down with a bunch of meth and poppers and drugs and butt fucking. Yeah. That's and, what you're saying. And, gotcha. and and then on top of it, when they went in not feeling so well, they were given AZT, which is you know deadly. That's what killed them. Yeah. Not AIDS. And then, and then they would I use that fucking test, yeah. and it would just mul mass multiply whatever what was wrong with them. Of course, they're sick. So then they have this. Every this time I see it it Freddie Mercury, I say, he man, they oh, murdered. Oh, I know. They murdered. Oh, fuck yeah, they did, dude. Without a doubt. Back that then. was the first fucking test after he was diagnosed with AIDS. He didn't live too much long after that. No, nobody. Yeah, no. Of course you don't. They were especially... pumping his ass full of fucking AZT. That's what they were doing. Well, they, gave it, they gave it. They gave it to Magic Johnson, and he started getting For real. So many people. No, and I, then Magic didn't get AZT. It. Oh, he got it in the beginning because the first month after in the beginning, he, was, that was, somebody, no, he had somebody, somebody told him what time it was. That shit. He quit taking it. 
Yep. He became a spokesperson for it. And then that was the of first he hole did. That was, <laughs> that was the Old first hole that was punched lived. in the whole theory is when Magic Johnson fucking stopped taking it. It's like, oh well, yeah, that was the they, that no, he, the hole he never he never publicly would say that what he was taking. Every oh, time he was God, asking, he loses, he'd probably get he, fucking you gotta watch Jamie Jones' right. video on it because he's got it, him in his own words. Uh, and he, well, I, I would, but sometimes I don't need to watch so much because I know they're after us. I know they're trying to kill us, man. We sit here and fucking. You're missing the fine point of what I'm saying. No, I'm not. Go ahead. I do, man. Like, I, I really don't, though. You might think I am, but I, I probably really ain't. But, but no, I will let you make that that fine point. Yeah, I, I kind of get it. A, a, like I'm on now. You want to shut the fuck up? Fucking two seconds. No, 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 no I know. <laughs> well, now you're you're getting okay, it. Rob. Say what you're gonna have to say. God damn it! I don't. I, I, don't, I usually <laughs> don't shut the fuck up. I mean, come on. Now we get. To, you're getting to know me. So go <laughs> ahead, buddy. I I love you. So I'm not gonna fucking fuck with you no more. Well. I can't even remember the fine point five minutes later. See, but, that, that, that usually happens when I fuck with people. Sorry. I'm used to that. But I, I still love you. Rob, I'd hug you if I could. I'm sorry. That's the I'm Master okay. Roshi after image technique. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I tend to fuck with people and make them forget what they're even trying to say. And I don't mean to do that. I'm just here. I can't help it. But I do love Al, you know, so. Yeah, there was something I wanted to talk about tonight. I can't remember what the fuck it was. Well, then do that. Oh, what, I can't remember what it was, though. Up. I don't know what it was. <laughs> uh, the poison and the water all over the place. Uh, no, it was something. Something happened. in the water, the air, the food. Take your pick. Oh, that's what it was. That's right. Uh, 2025 is apparently a holy year. Did you guys know that? No. Is it, is yeah. It, uh, yeah. The Pope, said, the Pope said 2025 is a holy year. I don't know. Did he say what was going to happen? That means. Okay. What that means is the year full of holes. That's what we got. It's gonna be is is Jesus coming back source. next year? It's going to be the uh, holographic projection of whatever oh, God. There you go, brother. Jesus. And there you go. Jesus. Whatever region. And we're all going to meld together in the Baha'i faith. You know, well, Jesus might come back, but I don't think. Hey, we anything. have to do it soon because Matray is getting old. What? <laughs> yeah. I hope it's a vengeful. Yeah, you know. I don't know. I'm pagan, so like the whole Jesus thing kind of creeps me out anyway. Because I like I don't like those Romans. They... Just because the Christians stole all your pagan rituals. Don't don't be. Yeah. Uh, I I don't like. I'm not. I don't hold no grudges, and I I'm not a I'm not a fucking. Like pissed off. Oh yeah, like, those Romans kind of killed that Jesus dude, and then stole his religion. And I heard, yeah, it like, the, like Jews. the whole thing it's about that. It was Ross's birthday. Think about the Jews. Like the Jews were kind of new. If you kind of get into like how they kind of set that up, and it was like the Romans first, then the Jews. They made that up. I don't know. It just seems like a really stupid story. They the could Jews. make some cool movies, but like fuck, Jews I don't aren't like even real movies. But uh, I do know that uh, a lot of the the actual real people that were so-called pagans just got ripped out of their homes and murdered and genocided. A lot of yeah, just like the Indians. Yeah, just like the Mayans and, and yeah, but then yeah, we made Halloween. So we made people concessions in, on the coast of North Africa. Oh, Samhain? You mean Samhain? Yeah, that's what they yeah, call yeah. Samhain. Because exactly. evil yeah. British motherfuckers did it to all of us, and well, they're, and to this they're, day, they're, 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 sacrificed well, children the on that day. took over Britain, and then oh, that British know. shit became Roman. Then the eternal penalty is they have they all have fucked up teeth. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. Well, my teeth aren't that great, but I ain't judging my teeth. But I'll have you know, you know they approved the uh, carrot for five year olds on All Hallows Eve. Uh, you know, carrots should yeah. probably be eaten if you kind of know about carrots. So, I mean, but... it's not like we haven't held up our end of the bargain. Mm. No, I'm speaking for the Roman Catholic, Catholic Church right now, as I am ordained by. The most well, high to do at all times. 
like ordained by, by some website on the internet. <laughs> you can speak for them. <laughs> Should we be calling dollars. you Father Bin Laden? And I can speak I'm also for a the Lord. I can speak for the Skaldic pagans and still hug you, bud. So. And he should be able to speak for just about anything. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I, I don't because if I speak for people, they start to get a little bit upset for me talking too much. Sometimes I talk too much, but the, the talking here seems pretty. That's what Friday nights are for. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be more part of this because sometimes when I talk too much, it pisses people off. So. Hmm. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is where we come to, to get shit off our chest. Yeah, you, you yeah. know what I'm talking about, though. Sometimes it gets people upset, and I don't well, want to do that. I really don't. I know. Other people's feelings are their responsibility. They're not your I responsibility. Know. Exactly. Yeah. Some of us just say how we feel, so there is no fucking hard feelings. <laughs> no. I know I have a problem with saying too much, so it gets some people too much up in their feelings, so. I got no beef. I, well, nobody has a problem with you talking too much. It's just when you start talking over people, when they try to get a word in, that's, that's sometimes. And it's not like not in that whole thing of in a, in this space. I'll shut up. You tell me shut up. I'll just. But it, it's in the whole. I want to hear what RBL has to say. He's been in, in, quiet. In, in the whole realm of he's ideas. Quiet. He's, he's Rosie the, Perez has to be like sixty three. I would still crush it. She's, yeah, I think I would. Yeah, who? I always Rosie like Perez. Perez. I'm Rosie watching this Perez. Mike Tyson thing. Oh, is that right, is the fight? Is it still is it, happening? Is it? Oh yeah, my kids yet? Did somebody it's win? Happening in like, it's happening it's, in like ten minutes. Married, yeah. Oh no, yeah, shit! Yeah. So it still hasn't even happened. I figured. Well, no, well, they're, 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 they're in like, like Vegas, right? Here. Now they're doing the the last pump up with like the montage videos of all right, Tyson get, getting everybody hyped up for it. Look, it's probably well, going to be like two minutes, started, like, two and it'll be ago. over. Right. There was there was a really good fight in between there. There was a twelve round fight. Uh, hundred and forty pound dudes just there was like oh yeah, the little guys, man. Dollars. They get they, they get the after fight. it. Two Mexicans. Yeah, no. They just worked really hard. They're oh, really fuck fast. Yeah. Just you know, oh, they don't hug each other. They just hug the shit out of each other. Yeah. Well, they're used to doing that, like just in the alley behind the house. So it's yeah. just another Friday night to them. There was a limb on a tree at my house, and I and my uncle's professional, so-called you know tree climber dude, right, for the power company or whatever it was. And I said, "Hey, man, what about this limb? It might fall and kill my uh, son." You know, can I get some help with that? And he's like, oh, yeah, for about $900. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I was like, okay, okay. Before, so, you know, before, before midnight, you know, you guys are all in different parts of the country to make. I count on you all to get a new Fight Club franchise set up. Sure. <laughs> the point is, where, where are you I got at, two uh, Mexicans out here you on the back the whole tree. Whole tree. tree. Like, that, that, one branch they had it gone in 40 minutes yep just two of them so like it wasn't even like a big deal they're just like <laughs> gone 900 smackaroos yeah, thank you sir i mean yeah really but i paid them a, a more money but they got the whole tree taken care of for me not just one little limb that took like hardly any time you know sounds like they were professional I'm trying to big up the Mexicans and also kind of throw shade at that one guy. Uh, <laughs> no, I had Mexicans this guy are wonderful people. I love them. I don't know, I I don't know why they're anyone they're would they're talk they're bad about city, Mexicans. Man. Two no, brothers. They were really cool. Yeah, you haven't been on any of the job sites I've been on here in Oregon. <laughs> yeah, there is different Those motherfuckers fuck off just as much as oh, the dude, white there guys was, do. There was one dude <laughs> in Mexico who fucking hated me. Absolutely, no, I hated stole them. my fucking hard hat on a job site. Dude, I get and it. my drill. I I, I ran a crew of laborers when I was a carpenter, and those motherfuckers, like if nobody was watching, they would be out around the corner fucking off. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, yeah. I would too. There's there also a time on a job where I wouldn't even survive if it wasn't from a family of them pulling me into their camper and feeding me every night too. On a job, I'm not saying they're not good people. I'm just saying, yeah, they're all the same, <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah. I love 
Dude, I used to go have beers well, with those guys after work. I fucking love those guys. They're trying to be fair yeah. and balanced or something. But they're That's also awesome. pretty good for like the food they eat and like that community is probably better than some of the. I miss the food know? so much. Oh, I, I just bought no a big idea. bag of tamales tonight from the fucking parking lot in Walmart. Big bag of fucking 20 tamales for like nice. 20 bucks. Oh, I'm going to eat them shits. They're going to be good, too, because it's yeah from a dude who sells tamales in the parking lots, and that's his thing. You find him, you get some good tamales. The leaves are red. <laughs> but, yeah, that is nice. I, I do kind of like that still about the community around here. It's getting kind of worse and worse. It's going to be sad when this place is fucking completely captured, but... What do we I do? think the entire country is already captured. Like, but there I don't, I don't are think small... you have to worry about when it's already happened. No, but like this place is not the same as like what everybody experiences. If you can get my whole but thing it's from it's that. a little bit different. No, I, it, it, I understand. It is slower, and now it's just like uh, it's like the last fucking holdouts are still, and it's sad. I've been I mean, all I've over the country. Of opinion. There's, yeah. there's 300 million gun oh, owners. Which I hate. Fucking. Oh, um, well, I can't be a gun yeah. owner because of the state, so I'm not allowed. I got bows, though, and I can shoot better with a bow than a gun. So. You know what? Better. Good if, luck with uh, If I take this correctly, if you're not allowed to yeah, own I don't a firearm, know. you should listen up. You can get an air firearm. Mm. It's not technically a firearm because there's no black powder. No. I know and it can have 400 pounds of fucking air and a 45 slug yeah, that'll go yeah. through a fucking. But if you're in close range, like I, I've also been shooting archery since I was eight, so it's like a little quick recurve bow. I can kind of be better with that than with a air rifle if yeah. you're in close range. Or I'm even not like crossbow. I'm, I'm not bragging. No, I, I can shoot a bow like a right? I've been shooting since I was eight. I have a I have a pretty awesome fucking. Hun style recurve bow, 65 pounds, and some arrows. That's pretty yeah. much all I need these yeah. days. And what, like, how, yeah, how I don't know. You reload one shot, and then you gotta reload. The one <laughs> shot. Oh, I can do it pretty quick. You want to test me? We can do. We can do a fucking. I, right. I haven't practiced that. Practice. Big RBL that is fucking air shooting. Fucking 45 at 400 psi, and you can have your bow and see how many shots you get off. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we I'm not gonna stand, stand well, on the actually, open for you. To shoot actually, me. like what I'm talking about is if you're in like 60 feet away and like what all that equals out to. I mean, right, that would be yeah, I'm not, I'm not. How long does it take like, you to re screw another tank in when you're out of your 12 shots at max optimal pressure or whatever? You know, like, fuck. because if I have like some air, like I haven't practiced it that much, but like I said, I've been 12 shot shot or a yeah, shotgun. We, uh, archery with I'm a reaper with bow since shots. I was eight, so I'm pretty good at it. Like, I'm not bragging. I can fucking shoot. And not, like, compound bow. I mean, like, recurve bow. Shit. I'm fucking legless. It. It's a lot of upper body strength to do that. Yeah, I have a 60-pound, like, and it's it's a short, hun-style recurve bow. I would like a 60-pound bow. 80 pounds is a little fucking much for me. Like, Well, in a recurve, in a recurve, yeah, because yeah. in a recurve bow, you have to fucking pull back and shoot. You have to fucking keep both eyes open. I got little like fucking recurve. stubby arms, bro. That's part of my deal, too. Like, I need a well, bow. The, the the draw strain stronger, my short and stubby. Got T Rex arm, but I, I ain't talking shit on no guns or anything. But I've shot archery and I haven't hunt. hunt I can hold guns gun. with these arms. Pretty but good. I've, I've, yeah, shot archery and hunted with bows since I was like eight years old. I started shooting archery with a recurve bow when I was eight and got really into it. It's kind of a hobby of mine that I'm into. So if you want to fucking me to show you how I can shoot a recurve bow, it's like, I'm pretty good at it though. It's like I ain't bragging, but like you ain't getting away if you're in my yard and I'll shoot you with that fucking thing and it will hit you. I can shoot a fucking bird in the air. All right, I'll make sure I have a second gun with me. Not every time I'll miss, but I've like shot birds out of the air with fucking. Like, Chances are I'm never going to be in your yard. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not bragging, but archery is kind of like one of my things I'm into. So like, yeah, I'm 
I'm into that. So I can't hit shit with a bow, but trust me. Oh. <laughs> oh, this this honey locust tree fell in my yard. So like I harvested it and I made this bow for my girl. It's oh, like fuck yeah. oh nice. But um it's like called a self bow or whatever, I guess. Yeah, that's that that'll work, dude. Yeah. That will, uh... And I got this like I scabbed this little piece of pine onto it and carved a little yeah, bit. That's yeah, it's pretty cool, oh, man. So now that's that's the right the there. Bow. You got it. And you just like the whole I'm really into the art of shooting those things. I'm not like bragging or bringing that up, but like that's something I'm really into. Oh, I, I think they're awesome. Dude, especially RBL surprises the shit out of me every single week. Especially you like always reaper. bring something new to the table. <laughs> I thought it was only gonna well, be the Lucas is, uh, one of the Native American bow woods that they would transplant as they came from out west towards the, like, the east Appala Appalachian mountain region. They brought yeah. the locust with them, and that was harvested and used for the colonial settlements that still like have their fucking original uh, uh, poles or <laughs> whatever. I can't think of the word foundation yeah. timbers. Fuck yeah, because <laughs> it's resistant to rot. Oh, wow. And they used it for uh, the nails on uh, oak planks on shipbuilding. The locust. That makes so sense. I learned all about this tree when I harvested this tree. I was like, well, this looks like good, That's strong great. fucking wood. This yeah. Is it you know? does it make bow, bows and, how and handles bow, for mauls and axes and stuff like that? You know? How does that bow shoot? Or does it. It's it's only like a 20 pound bow. It shoots pretty well. No, but, that doesn't matter. Like, it, it'll still. I have yep. like a 40 pound one that's that's actually still legal to I guess you could like take some animals with a 40 pound 20. Yeah, that's smaller a little probably, yeah. Oh yeah, you could you tag a rabbit or if, like, if you were like 10 yards and I'm curious because I'm not kidding, I'm really and I have shot archery since I was 8. I'm 44 now. I've been pretty into it especially like the more primitive part i have compound bows i've had some pretty expensive ones i've only hunted animals with archery but it's not even like the hunting thing that interests me it's just the whole craft of it so i've been an archer and interested in it for a long time and i there's it, all kinds of have you ever made your own bow yeah i used to of course i did lilac bushes okay. and goddamn bailing wire man right. was when i was a kid yeah i i used to and i've like shot fish out of the fucking river with shit that i've made but i've bought some yeah i've been into it a long time there are so many videos so, on youtube with, uh bow your self bow uh bow your, but i mean yeah, you know, like you know um, Martin buying unorthodox things to make bows i know cool. i'm not like new in this i'm just saying i've been into it for a long time so i'm interested in your bow that you've made i've bought quite a few i have lots of bows it's like i got as many bows as i do guitars it's kind of a crazy thing what about like in the white have rocket with her matching crossbows i've never really got into crossbows though because then that almost seems like cheating because it's using kinetic energy instead of that quick snap like what i like about shooting archery is when you just can look at your target pull it back and shoot that's why I, you know, that whole, the, the, that's what it is. You gotta, if you, sh especially with recurve bows, if you've shot a lot, you have to just, you know, where you're looking at, you have to keep both eyes open, pull back and not hold and shoot. Like you get a quick kind of breath and release. It's different than shooting marksmanship with guns. I don't know. If like anybody. the aiming is part of the motion of the draw. Yeah, it's all in one motion, and you keep both eyes open. You have to, and, and most people try it their first time. They'll shoot way off the target. If you want to impress me as a hunter, go out there with a knife and track the fucking animal and get it with a knife. Fair. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm not even, I would agree. I if, you're gonna, you. if you're going to take an animal, you should do it that way first. If you're going to take an animal, I'm not talking about hunting. I'm just talking about a, a craft of archery. I mean, if you need, I, 
if you, if you needed to eat and you're not that skilled, that's one thing. No, uh, I, want, I want you to go and uh, prove your worth as a man by taking but you're gonna down have a black bear with a Bowie knife. Exactly. Yeah. I'll get there too. I'll go. With you haven't that. seen those guys that hunt uh, hogs, wild hogs with oh, knives? Yeah, I, I have, have. Man, they're fucking. That, I, 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 I also <laughs> say that if they knock you <laughs> over. That's you're, what I say. Done. you're gonna. Yes, I, those hogs don't I, fuck around. No, they do I'm not. They there. absolutely do not. Yep. And then you see the dude with the gat gun, want, want <laughs> just shooting bacon. all the hogs and shit. <laughs> that's that's fucking cheating. It is. It's, a well, little bit. That, that's what happens when they, well, dude. Fucking hogs breed like rabbits. Of course oh, they yeah. do. You know well, why? Because they have. The fucking, they have uh, was the Spanish can, brought them all over here a long time ago. Yeah, you can do tours here, here in Texas. Why. You can pay for it where they'll take you up in a helicopter. And I think some of them have like a, a 50 cal mounted in the helicopter. And you Holy just go God, out this, into the countryside looking for the feral hogs. And you just take out as many as you want. Yeah. yeah. And they make crazy. money on that. That is crazy. It is but crazy. But the whole point of that is well, Ladies Spanish. and gentlemen, we have uh, we have fulfilled our uh, our public duty. Uh, we have successfully delivered you to the other side of midnight on the East Coast. Uh, okay, so it well, is time for us to sign off. We are shutting down the phone lines. Uh, but we will be back again next week. <laughs> Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Get your requests in for two hours from the vault now. I would recommend it. The playlist is already filling up. Oh. We will uh, see you next Tuesday. Peace. Gentlemen, have a good night. Good night, night kiddos.